Hello Sagittarius, this is Sue from Sweet Love Tarot. I uh, have passed uh, 2,000 as far as my subscribers go and um, so as promised I'm doing another round of Tipsy Tarot. These are love readings and they will be um, for the last week of June. So Sagittarius, last week of June. This is your energy, your partner's energy, your feelings, their feelings, your obstacles, oh, their obstacles, what you have in common, and the potential. Okay, oh, before I get started, take another sip. Okay, your energy currently is the Queen of Swords. So this is um, powerful. Uh, this is uh, someone that uh, thinks things through. They're um, clever, they're quick, they're perceptive, and they're very independent. And that's, uh, that's your energy currently. Your... Um, your partner has the King of Wands, which is um, powerful, uh, passionate. Uh, this is a natural born leader. Um, this, this is someone with an entrepreneurial spirit also. Um, and you know, that can be a real helpful thing. And it's certainly a positive energy. And your feelings right now? You have the Seven of Swords in reverse. And uh, in reverse, this is, well, it's challenges. Um, but it can also be breaking free of a situation where you felt betrayed or deceived. Um, and that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a good feeling, you know, breaking free. You've, I know you've had some challenges in the past. And, um, yeah, you're ready to let go of that garbage. That's good. A lot of swords in this energy. Well, now you get a little bit of everything. <laughs> uh, so, their feelings. Uh, we have the Knave of Swords. So, uh, this is the page uh, in uh, other decks. And this is someone that's curious. Um, they're, again, mentally quick and um, talkative, energetic. Um, all good feelings and maybe something you really need in your life too. I hope there's enough light. I've got my front door open if you can hear all my wind chimes. Um, it's kind of windy here today and uh, but I love the sound. Um, okay. Your obstacles. Uh, we have uh, the ace of um, cups in reverse. Oh excuse me this is the knave of cups. Uh, so the page of cups. And there's that fish again. I don't understand why there's a fish, but <laughs> why would you want a fish in your cup? Uh, I mean, this is this is of um, uh, emotion, and so your obstacles have to do with your emotions. Um, this is an unfamiliar deck, by the way. If you're wondering why I don't know what card this is, <laughs> it's the first time I've used this in a, in a reading. Well. Third, if you count the other two, uh, the other three, re uh, fourth, if you count the other three. I'm telling you, sometimes tipsy tarot gets really messy. Uh, but uh, the page of cups basically is what we're looking at here. And this is in the reverse. So this is emotional immaturity. And um, this could have been created because of the stuff that you've been through in the past where you blocked your emotions rather than allow yourself to feel them and uh, that's creating kind of a problem for you right now and your partner's um, uh, obstacles are uh, the seven of cups which uh, is not maybe being very realistic about um, what's going on or what options they have this is um, 
fantasizing, um, not being 100% focused on uh, what's real. Um, so, yes, so this is like an illusion. Um, so right now their obstacle is they're not being realistic. They're thinking of things in terms of, you know, maybe the best possible outcome, which is, is really lovely to think that way, frankly. Um, but sometimes you have to be realistic. And your common energy is the page of coins. Um, and this is, um, this is a positive uh, card for a, for a common energy. Um, these, this is what you have in common, and you have uh, opportunity in common. Perhaps a new job for one of you is on the way, um, and I think that's something that might bring you closer together. You're manifesting a new life. Um, I feel this very strongly. You're going to do this, and it's going to be good for you. Um, now, yes, the Ten of Wands, this is the potential. Now, what I'm seeing here is with the Ten of Wands, this is a burden. This is carrying all the weight of the world on your shoulders, but it's the Ten. So it's the end of the cycle. So uh, the, I see a positive spin on this. I see you being able to put this burden down now, uh, and perhaps you've got somebody to share it with, and if you both uh, are able to carry the load, uh, half the load of of, of this burden, uh, you make it uh, half as burdensome, to be frank. Um, so that looks like a really nice um, outcome for Sagittarius. And uh, let me pull a um, Wisdom of the Avalon Oracle card and see if we can get any kind of further advice. Now, th this table isn't nearly as soft as the one that I've got you know, on my desk in the back, but when it when summertime hits, it gets too hot back there. So I am doing my readings from the front room on a little pull-down desk. A secretary, if you will. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Gentleness and diplomacy. Yes. Okay, I can see that being something that you might need to embrace. Um, you tend to sometimes be like a bull in a china shop. I know you're not a Taurus, but um, you got horns. But <laughs> at any rate, um, yes, time to be calm and gentle. And with this kind of energy, I have no doubt that you're going to succeed in making this work. It looks like there are some obstacles and that um, you have some things you need to accomplish before you can put this together. And, uh, but I don't, I don't doubt from the potential and from the advice card, I don't doubt that you're going to be able to do this. So, um, don't block your emotions anymore. Help your partner see things realistically. If you want to go forward and have a true down to earth relationship, um, gentleness and diplomacy. So um, that's what I have for you uh, this time. This is for the last week of June. And I'll be doing another reading before the um, week is out. Um, someone requested a long distance relationship reading. So you might want to join me for that one too. And I'll see you. Bye bye.